Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are starting off with a crock pot chili recipe in this video. You will need three cans of diced tomatoes, whatever kind you like to use, one can of original chili, again, whatever kind you like to use, a can of black beans, a can of chili beans, a can of dark red kidney beans, one pound of ground beef, a bell pepper color of your choice, a small yellow onion, and a packet of chili seasoning. Now I make my chili a couple of different ways. This is one way that I make it. I also like to add a drained can of yellow corn sometimes, but I didn't have any. Sometimes I will use a packet of taco seasoning instead of chili seasoning if I have that on hand and it works just as well. So you're gonna start this recipe by getting out your crock pot and putting all of your ingredients in, all of your canned ingredients. And I will say, if you want your chili to be thicker and less watery or less soupy, then definitely drain your kidney beans and your black beans. But today I went in ahead and dumped my black beans and kidney beans in with the juice. But however I am making my chili on that day, I always put my chili beans in with the juice because it's more of a sauce and it gives a lot of good flavor to the chili. But the black beans and the kidney beans, like I said, I will drain those sometimes if I want it like a thicker consistency for chili. If we're gonna do like chili dogs for sure, I will do that. So after I dump all of my canned ingredients into the crock pot, I put the majority of the packet of chili seasoning in there and give it a good stir. I'm gonna save the rest of that seasoning to cook with the ground beef. I put the lid on and I put that on high for four hours. I'm gonna go ahead and just get all of my cans thrown away and then we're gonna prep the rest of the ingredients. Next up, I'm going to dice up my green bell pepper and also half of a yellow onion. This recipe makes a really good amount of chili. We are a family of five and so we can have dinner one night even with having seconds sometimes and still have leftovers for the next day either for lunch or We'll do like just chili with chips and cheese one night and then we'll do chili dogs the next night. It's a great recipe to for sure have leftovers. Another thing I like to do with this recipe sometimes, just to have something in the freezer, easy, ready to go and just throw in the crock pot, I will turn this into a freezer meal. So I will, instead of making it in the crock pot, I'll just do it on the stove top, just to get all of the ingredients combined. And then I will do it in gallon Ziploc bags in the freezer. Then you can just take that out, plop it in the crock pot and let it all warm up and cook up basically. And that works really well. So maybe if you have a friend that's having a baby and you wanna do a freezer meal for them, that's a great idea. Or even just for yourself to have a quick and easy meal in the freezer to throw in the crock pot, you could do that too. But now I'm gonna throw this together with the ground beef and get this cooked so we can put it in the crock pot. But I just did a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil in the pan and then I'm gonna cook down the bell pepper and the onion a little bit until they're soft. Then throw in that pound of ground beef and get that all cooked together. Once that ground beef is looking about like this, I will take that chili seasoning or taco seasoning, if whatever one you wanna use, and sprinkle that on top and finish it off cooking it with these seasonings cooked into the meat.
Once that ground beef and pepper and onion mixture is looking like this, it's ready to go. And that's when I'm going to dump it into the crock pot and give it a good stir, get all of those ingredients combined together. Now this is a pretty quick crock pot recipe. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna put the lid on and let's let this cook on high for four hours. But we're also going to get a little cleaning done in this video today. I didn't have a whole lot to do. It was more so just getting this main living area back in order. There was just a lot of stuff out that needed to be put away. Laundry needed to be done. Dishes need to be done. Just a basic like everyday daily cleaning routine. I do this every day. I do laundry every day, dishes, you know, just the basics in the main living area to get it looking nice. Jasper and Cash were out in the backyard enjoying a little bit of sunshine on this afternoon, but they were ready to come in. So of course, Cash heads straight for his bed. He is the laziest old man ever and <laughs> he loves to be on that bed. And Jasper ran for his food, of course. But I am going to start off in the living room. We're just going to do a reset basically on the entire living area and the kitchen. So I have some clean laundry on the ottoman that I folded the night before. And I had just gotten home from work at this point, which that clock in our living room does not work. We took the batteries out because it is just a really loud clock and it drove us nuts, the sound that it made. So if you're ever watching my videos and notice, but the time on there is always the same. So anyways, I had just gotten home from work and I got dinner started in the crock pot. I will show you guys what that looks like whenever it's done in a few hours but the laundry on the couch or on the ottoman was from the night before. And then this morning before I went to work, I had swapped around the laundry. So we have another basket of clean laundry here that needs to be folded. And I am just gonna get all this folded and then get everything put away. So my last video, I did a major declutter and organize of one of our storage closets. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go back and check that out. If I'm ever doing housework and I have a TV show on, I like to let you guys know what I'm watching because you can obviously see me watching the TV and I'd be curious to know what somebody was watching too. So in that last video, when I was decluttering and organizing that storage closet, I was watching Tell Me Lies on Hulu. And I really hope there there's gonna be another season. There has to be another season with the cliffhanger that we ended with it was absolutely insane but since I'm all cut up on tell me lies I'm now watching Vanderpump Rules I've actually been watching it on and off for the last like year because I had never watched it before but I had watched like winter house and summer house and southern charm and finished all of those and then my friends were like you have to watch Vanderpump because there's a lot of crossovers with those shows so I started watching Vanderpump probably a year ago and I've just been, you know, little by little um, whenever I have time to watch because there's so, so, so many episodes. There's 10 seasons. And so I'm finally on season 10 now. And while I was folding this laundry, that's what I was watching. And actually while I'm cleaning this whole main living area, that's what I'm watching is Vanderpump Rules. I'll probably watch The Valley whenever I'm done with this season of Vanderpump. And then I also need to watch the recent season, the most current season of Sister Wives. Last year, I watched all of the seasons of Sister Wives. And recently, Donnie and I started The Walking Dead again, like at night when we're chilling together. And one of the boys, Brody, is really into watching The Walking Dead with us. But we watched that show when it very first started, gosh, like 10 years ago. And we just randomly one night decided like, let's watch Walking Dead again. And so that's been fun to go back and watch. But Vanderpump, the Bravo shows, the reality like dramas, that kind of stuff. I usually just watch by myself like this, like middle of the day. And I have a bunch of laundry to do. So I'm going to throw that on the TV and do a little catch up. Maybe, maybe get an episode in while I'm cleaning. But I got all that laundry folded and I'm gonna get some cleaning rags and hand towels put away here in the kitchen. I have some stuff I'm gonna take into my bathroom closet and get put away. And then everybody's clothes, I'm just gonna go set on everyone's bed so they can get their things put away at a later time.
The living room is already looking so much better, just getting all of that laundry done and put in everybody's rooms. So I'm just going to straighten up the pillows real quick and kind of put things back how we like to have them. I'm going to push these bar stools back where they go because kids never push them back where they go. And now I'm going to work on getting this kitchen cleaned up. So we're going to go ahead and unload this dishwasher. I also wanted to remind you guys about my Etsy shop. I have it linked in the description box. I have it linked on my Instagram, but my sweatshirt that I'm wearing right here is from my Etsy shop and the way that my Etsy shop works. So while we're doing the dishes, I figure I'll just tell you about this here quickly. I've mentioned it before, but it's been a while. So two summers ago, we sold our house for the second time of the second house we sold and we decided to hit the road and travel it was going to be for a year but then we ended up only traveling for the summer because we were all just missing having a home base and the kids decided they wanted to go to school and it was just a, a big family decision we decided traveling full-time just wasn't going to be for us we did it in 2019 and it was amazing and then we really wanted to do it again and it honestly just wasn't the same and the kids weren't vibing with it we weren't vibing with it so we just said we're not going to do this and we you know we're in this rental now and we moved to idaho and all that so anyways while we were traveling in that summer one of my best friends who owns a, an apparel company she lives in florida and she was like, why don't we do an Etsy shop for you? And that way you can, I can do like merch. So we did custom merch for our summer travels in 2023. These really cute, bright colored comfort color shirts that say get lost and it has Casper crew on it and all of that. And they're actually still available on my Etsy shop. But from that, she was like, why don't we just do like random stuff too? You know, like holiday stuff and mom stuff and just whatever we like on there. So I have the Etsy shop and she does all of the, you know, heat pressing and she like makes the product. She makes all the shirts. We do them all on comfort colors for the most part. So they're like high quality shirts and she also ships them for me. So um, she came to me with this idea back summer 2023, actually it was like the spring of 2023. And I was like, yeah, heck yeah, that, that would be amazing. So if you ever order anything from the Casper Crew shirt shop on Etsy, my friend Chantel is the one behind all of that. So we're grateful for her, but I don't ever really talk about it. I really should, I need to bring it up more often. But um, yeah, we have merch and all sorts of cute t-shirts and sweatshirts on there. And um, if you have any questions, you can send a message on Etsy and Chantel will get that and chat with you. But yeah, that, if you're wondering where my sweatshirt is from, it is from my Etsy shop. I also don't know why that last clip was out of focus, but this happens to me so much. My camera will be on autofocus and it just goes out of focus. So I'm sorry about that. But we got the dishwasher unloaded. We got the dishwasher loaded, hand washed one of my cutting boards, and I'm just going to scrub out the sink with some dish soap and get that rinsed down. Now Donnie got off work a little bit early today, so he is home before the kids are out of school and he's rinsing out a shaker bottle so he can make himself a fruit punch spark and then he's gonna go pick the kids up from school for me. That happens from time to time where he gets off a little bit early and he's home before the kids get out and then he gets to go get them. The kids love that when dad is off work early and can pick him up from school. And then I can just continue on working or filming or whatever it is that I've got going on. So that happened on this day. We love that for everybody because mom does the school drop off and pick up every day. So it's nice for a change for dad to get to do it. But here we go again with the camera going out of focus. I literally don't know what's going on. I'm so sorry, but 
sprayed the counters down and I'm gonna get those all clean and wiped off. Heading into the dining room now. On this morning before school, Braden and I had gone through his school binder because the zipper already broke on it. We're only, what, two months into the school year and we already have a broken zipper binder. So we had to swap over to just a regular three ring binder this morning and then we went through everything he didn't need in his binder. That was all piled up on the table and just some school supplies and stuff. So I got all that stuff that we didn't need thrown away, put a couple things into the keepsake binders that I just recently did in the last video. And now I'm gonna get this dining room table sprayed down and wiped down. And when I was cleaning out that closet in the last video, I had taken off my fall decor. So I had like the full table to organize things and get things out of that closet. So that was still over in the corner. So. I'm going to get the burlap runner put back on with my little pumpkins and fix my um, greenery and stuff on the table and get that looking nice again. So now I got my basic day-to-day, -day, everyday cleaning and pickup done and this whole area is reset before the kids get home and before we have dinner and all of that and it feels so nice to just have a picked up clean space it makes me feel better and more relaxed when there isn't clutter everywhere so feels good to have that done but now it is time for dinner so I'm just showing you guys what our chili is looking like so you can see what the consistency looks like here like I said if you want it to be thicker and not so watery or liquidy definitely drain your black beans and your kidney beans but don't do anything else different tonight we are doing our chili with some shredded cheese and some fritos we got the chili cheese fritos but that is going to be it for this video let me know if you end up making this chili recipe i know everyone makes their chili completely different and that's totally okay and thank you very much for clicking on this video and watching i appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos and i will see you guys again very soon in my next one. Bye! Bye.